Hi, Selma. Hi, Letty. Uh, nice to see you, my dear. Oh, lovely to see you too. <laughs> right. So here we have a reading. And I'm going to make it bigger for you so you can uh, see it better. And we will okay. read this together. And hopefully we will be able to answer some questions. Now, the names, I'm not very sure how to say it. Floggy. Floggy. And Siggy. Yeah? Siggy. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. Sometimes when they okay. are unusual names, I'm never quite sure how to say them. So if you would be okay. so kind as to start reading, and then I will do the second part. So off you go. Okay. Okay. A bad eating experience. Floki and Sig are from Sweden. Last year, they went on holiday to Spain. One night, they went out for their dinner. They looked for a good restaurant. Outside one restaurant, they saw a man and a woman. The man looked cool and he smiled. Flock and Siggy greeted him and he answered them in Swedish, their language. He told them he was Swedish, like them. The restaurant was called La Hacienda. They asked the man if it was a good restaurant. He recommended it and said it was excellent. He said it had the best food in Spain. Floki and Sigi trusted the man because he was from their country and they, they went in. It's your turn. <laughs> well, all right, my turn. Here we go. So I'm imagining what could have happened to them because it will be a bit like this, no? They uh -huh. sat at a nice table beside the window. They ordered paella. The waiter brought the dish. It was terrible. There were only two prawns in it. Now, prawns are these things we can see in the picture, right? Okay. So there were only two prawns in it. The chicken was undercooked and the rice was sticky and horrible. The wine was like vinegar and the water was warm. At the end of the meal, the waiter gave the bill. It was very big, so very expensive, I imagine. When they left the mm -hmm. restaurant, the Swedish man was still there. Floggy and Siggy told him he was wrong about the restaurant. They said it was dreadful really awful they asked him why did you recommend it because i'm the manager he said <laughs> so as usual the reading <laughs> has a funny twist no so how many times have you asked someone about where to go to eat and they have given uh, the wrong idea so here we go selma we're going to try and answer the question after reading it. So you have to say true or false. So read sentence number one okay. and tell me what you think. If we don't know, we can always look again at the reading. So off you go. Okay. Uh, Floki and Sigi are Spanish. No, they are Swedish. So it's From false. Swed Sweden. Swedish. Oh. No, you said it right. Swedish. They uh, are Swedish. Uh, Swedish. Right. They right. went they to England Swedish. on okay. holiday. False. They went to Spain. In Spain. Okay. One night they went out to look for a good restaurant. True. It's true. Right. A Swedish man was standing outside a restaurant called La Sienda. True. True. The man told them that La Hacienda was a bad restaurant. False. The man he said, said how good it was, it, no? A good. Yeah. 
Flovey oh, and Siggy yeah. believed what the man said. True. True. They said this. They said beside the door. True. No. True. I can't remember. I think it's a window. Uh, uh, but I'm not okay. sure. Uh, uh, I I think it, you are correct. I think I'm not sure. You, uh, they recommended the best restaurant in Tosu because they sat in a night table beside the window. Ah, uh, the window. Okay. okay. But okay. I sometimes don't remember everything as well. So, door and not window. Mm -hmm. The manager it's, brought it's their food. No, the waiter brought the food. The waiter. The food was excellent. False. Dreadful. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> and the wine was like vinegar. True. True. Their view was huge. Uh, uh, true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, when they left, the man was not there. No, he was there. He was still sat outside. And the last one? Exactly. The Swedish man was the restaurant manager. Uh, true right okay <laughs> so to help you selma i have written some questions that you can ask me mm -hmm. okay let's see why do you live in spain well it's a long story but cutting it short i live here because i met uh, my husband i came mm -hmm. to spain before meeting him for other reasons. But the reason why I live here now is because I met my husband and I came to live with him. Okay, okay, my dear. And in your opinion, which is the best Spanish dish? Wow, I love Spanish food. Uh, and I learned mm -hmm. to cook some dishes. So I wouldn't know which is the best one. Uh, but I like something called the paella, which we saw there. Uh, mm. It's very delicious. I mean, if you like, I don't like rice delicious. that much, but I like the ingredients. And then mm -hmm. there are some uh, typical foods, mm. depending like at Christmas, at Easter. Also, I like something called a Spanish mm. omelette, which is... Uh, uh, fried mm. potatoes uh, mixed with eggs and it's like an omelet about this thick can you imagine not like uh, this it's and, about that thick and uh, it's tortilla the the, the name tortilla yeah, tortilla yes mm. tortilla yeah, española a, a lot of onions uh, and well a lot you of can onions. have onions or not it's a personal choice no oh. so uh, if you say to oh, me okay, uh, okay. make me a spanish omelet i will say do you like onions if you don't like onions i won't put them mm. so it was one of the first things i oh, learned okay. how to make a spanish omelet i make it the size of yeah. a plate of yeah. a dinner plate it's about that thick and my English family love mm -hmm. it too. So when I used to go home, I used to make it for them. Spanish omelette, something very simple mm -hmm. with potatoes and eggs, but it can be very delicious if mm -hmm. you make it correctly. Delicious. Uh, delicious, delicious. <laughs> I agree. Can you cook any Spanish food? Well, yes, most everything. I can cook. The only thing I'm not very good at is frying fish. Because for me to fry fish, mm -hmm. the best place is a, a bar or a restaurant because they do it just right. They take the fresh fish and they cook mm -hmm. it well, no? <clears throat> so it's, I can mm -hmm. do it, but it's not my best point is cooking fish. Uh, yeah. I prefer okay. to do other things, but I can do most things. Uh, and do you know how to make a uh, how to make a paella? Oh yes. Well, a... a paella. I think there okay. are over a hundred different kinds of paella, and it originally comes from Valencia. And each family makes mm. it the way they like it. So I learned how mm. my husband's family liked it, and I make it that way. So it can oh, have some okay. uh, simple ingredients like chicken. 
uh, pieces of pork, seafood, and a few vegetables like peas or something to give it color, no? And then another family mm. can say, mm -hmm. we don't like it like that. We like it another way. So there are ingredients, but the most important thing I just mm -hmm. remember is when it's cooked, everyone needs to sit down because you can overcook mm -hmm. the rice. So when it's uh, nearly mm -hmm. ready, you say, everyone, we're going to eat in five minutes. And um, mm -hmm. then um, we go and eat the rice. Okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, I don't cook now, uh, believe it or not, because I'm by myself. But before I used mm -hmm. to cook for 10 people. And mm -hmm. uh, I used to cook the Christmas food and the special food. But uh, mm -hmm. the paella, it depends on the way the family likes it. And so you can adapt mm -hmm. it a little bit. What's your favorite food where you yeah. live? My I I I love I love fish, <laughs> but it's it's not as easy to to find here a fresh fish. A fresh uh, fish. So, uh, right. But I love to to make a a, a, a not a soup, but a, a fish with onions and the pepper and the tomatoes and right. it's delicious and coconut milk. It's delicious. Oh, I've never done it with coconut milk. I've never used that a lot. Uh -huh. So here, as you know, mm -hmm. I'm only 10 minutes away from the sea. So we have fresh fish mm -hmm. every day. Every day. Uh, so what the way milk. I like it is a uh, certain fish just fried. So they clean it, mm -hmm. they put like flour on it and then put mm -hmm. it in a uh, very hot oil for a short uh -huh. amount of time and it's golden oh. brown and I just mm -hmm. love it. There's something called bocorones, which are like fre fresh anchovies. They're very small fish mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they just clean them, put them in flour and fry them for a short time and it's just delicious. Something very simple and mm -hmm. nothing... Um, too complicated, but we have a lot of fish on offer here. So uh, if you mm -hmm. like fish, uh, it's a good place to live. So I've learned, oh, how, maybe. I've learned how to love fish since I came here because in England, I'm like yourself. We didn't eat fish mm -hmm. at all. Uh, okay, okay. It was difficult. But, it was expensive. It wasn't uh -huh. normal. For example, mm -hmm. no. Right then, Selma, uh, we're going. Oh yeah, continue. We here, only one minute. Uh, here we we fry with corn flour. It's yes, delicious. more than than white flour. Yes, here corn they flour. have a, a it special it. flour only for frying and for doing fish. Ah, and I okay. think uh, okay. that one you said uh, corn flour could even be better because it's lighter. It's like powder, uh, not very uh, fine. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, exactly. I don't do it here for myself. So if I go mm -hmm. out for a meal, uh, maybe that's what I have, just fried fish, uh -huh. because ah, okay. that's something special. And also uh -huh. I like something really? called calamari, which is squid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like that as well, squid. And so on a special occasion, I will ask for that one as well. Mm -hmm. So when I go out, I normally eat things that I wouldn't eat at home. Uh, so okay. it's different, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Selma, okay. uh, for Thank doing you, the reading <laughs> and then asking me okay. the questions. Okay, then. See you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. See you, my dear. Bye-bye.